All right. So starting from the end of the last video, we created this uh, chart based on the monthly financial performance data. And um, as I mentioned, this was uh, using uh, selecting our data, which you can see which data we have selected. And then also uh, going to insert. And then we chose uh, some of our, our line chart options, right? And uh, I actually started with using recommended charts and then going to all charts and then picking line charts and uh, going through some of the options there. Okay. So you can look at the previous video to figure out um, what I actually did. The first thing we're going to do is move this chart to our trend charts uh, worksheet. So I've selected on the chart. Uh, I'm going to go to, to design. I'm going to go to move chart. I want to move it to an object in the trend charts worksheet. So now I'm in the trend charts worksheet. And in the previous video, I set up this worksheet so that way I have uh, quadrants. I am going to move this chart to um, the upper left hand quadrant. And I want to make sure that I snap it to the cells. In order to snap an object to the cells in Excel, is you hold down your Alt key, A L T, and then you move the chart or the object into those cells. And you'll notice that there's like a a snap to grid option. Okay. Now, um, previously, I sized up these uh, cells to kind of have a certain fit to it. And um, it may not fit right for you. And I've made some adjustments. Uh, one of the things I did is I took four columns. I made them a width of 15. I'm going to change those to 20. And I'm going to do the same with these four on, on the left, on the right. That's what I had to begin with, and I changed my mind. Yeah, all that stuff. So I'm going to make change the height, row height. I'm going to make it a 25. And the same thing with these below. Okay. And I might modify these a couple of times, but modifying them in this way kind of shows you one thing. Um, it Since I snapped the chart to those specific cells, you'll notice that the chart sized itself appropriately with the, those cells. All right. Now, uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to um, the example that was given in this worksheet. And I'm going to try to match this as best that I can. Now, keep in mind that um, what I want you to do um, when you're going through this is I want you to be able to put whatever style that you want into this. Um, so this is a basic style. These, this has some of the basic elements. It has a title. It has a vertical axis on the left. It goes to that data set. It has a vertical axis on the right. that goes to that data. And, of course, it has... Um, uh, vertical access or it has access um, labels etc so we want to be able to include all those so one of the uh, helpful tools that's available in excel is when you go to the format tab excuse me design tab there's several quick layout options right and you can pick a few of these if you like and uh, give it a try right um, I so happen um, let me see which one that I might like here. I don't like much of any of them. I'm going to pick layout three. Like I said, you can pick whichever you care to have. I'm going to add some chart elements. I want access titles. I want it on the primary and the vertical. Okay. Um, I also want to move that, um, that legend right to the top so now i put that legend at the top right the other thing that i want to do is i want to make this line right here uh on the on the uh, secondary axis i'm going to go to format data series once i do that this dialog on the right opens up click to secondary access and it moves it so now i have my primary of uh, access and then my secondary access all right i'm going to close that Next thing I need to do is I need to modify this vertical axis on the right to include the, uh, to be scaled appropriately. So I'm going to format that axis. I'm going to do a maximum and I'm going to guess at a couple of these until I get it right. I put 200. Um, it, what I want to see is some kind of 
readability uh, between the two lines um, and, and with a little bit of separation. Um, so maybe 230 might give me that. No, I think I may have to go to 250. There we go. That's that's sufficient. All right. Um, also, what I want to have is I want to have a label over here. And it looks like I, I should have probably. There we go. Secondary vertical label. There we go. Now I have that title on that particular axis. Now I have all the pieces that I can use to be able to um, fix this. So let's go back to my example. And probably the best thing to do is kind of split the screen a little bit. Um, and let's put this over here. And let's take a look at what we've got. So here I want the chart title to be um, monthly sales trend. Right. I want the uh, vertical axis on the left to be uh, total sales. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I think I hit. Um, this is, I think my keyboard might have had a fat finger in a couple places. All right. So this is average sales dollars. Right. And then at the bottom, this is month. Now I have to change these axis titles. Now, one of the problem with these access titles here, you can see I want one to say average sales and one to say total sales. But if you notice that um, you can't really just click on them and make the change. And in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to uh, click on the chart. Here, go back to uh, design. Go to select data. And you see this is where the labels for... Um, each one has been dis, uh, dis, um, decided upon. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to go to edit. And this first series name is where um, uh, it's pulling the information from a work from a cell inside the worksheet. I'm just going to delete this and say this is the sum of total sales. There we go. And then this one is uh, total sales average. Hit OK. Is that what I had in my um, thing? Actually, I wrote total sales and average sales. Either, either is fine by me um, if I want to just kind of keep it... Um, based on what I have in dialog, then I would go ahead and just make that edit again. And that is just total sales. And the other one would be average sales. There we go. Yeah, that's a more appropriate. Oh, I made that. I put those parentheses in. Excuse me, those quotes in, and I didn't need them. There we go. All right. So uh, you might want to make some modifications to this that would be more suitable for you. Obviously, uh, some of the things that you could possibly have that would be different is um, you might be showing the decimal places here on average dollars. Uh, it would be better to have no decimal places here, um, given the, the scale and whatnot. And the same thing with total sales as well. We don't need to see the pennies. Um, also, some things that I might consider is bolding some of these or changing the font size for its readability. And that's something that you should make a decision about. Um, like, for example, I can make that bold and it's readable at a distance if it's, you know, really small. So, again, I could do this with the um, axis titles. There we go. Now, another option that you can do uh, as you're working with this, you can go ahead and change it to some of these chart styles. So here's another chart style that's usable. Of course, you'd want to modify it for your preference. Um, as I mentioned before, I like to have the legend at the top. So that's a possibility as well. Okay. So I'll leave that decision up to you. And um, we'll get started on the next video and the next chart.